today's video, we are going to move our WordPress website from localhost to live server. So keep watching this video. Alright guys, if you remember in the previous video, we installed WordPress website as a locally or you can say we install WordPress website only on our computer system without any hosting or domain plan. But now it's time to move or migrate that website from localhost to live server. So without wasting time, let's get started and let me show you how you can do that. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe or you can turn on notification by clicking this notification bell icon and you won't miss my new uploads. And also you can leave a like if you've been enjoying these videos. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm inside the dashboard and this is the fresh installation of the WordPress website. If you do not know how to make a WordPress website, then you can check out my other video. You can find those videos in the description box. Okay, now let's just move on. Now let me open the local website. So guys, this is the software that we used in the previous video to create a local website. If you do not know how to create a local website, then you could check out my other video. You can find that video link in the card right here or you can check out the description box of this video. For now, let's open up the dashboard of WordPress by clicking on admin and uh, that will take us to the dashboard. Since I already logged in, it will take me to the dashboard of WordPress. And now let's just go to the plugins click on add new so guys now come over here and let's just search for all-in-one WP so guys this is the main plugin that we are going to install in this video so guys this is the best plugin I test different plugins for this purpose but I found this plugin very useful and it's worked for me like a charm and it definitely worked for you as well and now let's just click on install now and now click on activate so guys before I move further I would like to show you how this website looks like so guys as you can see this is the local website looks like in the previous video we installed only theme in this website just for demonstration purposes but you can install uh, any theme you like or you can build your website from start to finish and hopefully you already prepared your website to migrate from localhost to live server and uh, let me show you what to do next now let's just go back to the dashboard and uh, hover over your mouse all in one WP migration and let's just click on export so guys here we can export our website if you so guys if you click on these three lines it will pop up all the options available in this plugin that you can use to export your site and most of them are cloud and you can export your site via FTP or you can go with only file that will download the file only of your website so I recommend you to go with file so I'm going to click on files and it will export our whole website since this website ain't got any media so it won't take a long time to export it so if your website has huge media files so it may take a while to export it so guys you can see the size of this website only 10 megabyte now let's just click on download and let's save this file okay we save the file and let's just go back let's close this first and now let's just go back to this live website and we have to install the same plugin again let's go to the plugin add new let's just search for all-in-one WP and let's just install the same plugin click on activate so guys before I import that data that we just exported let me show you how this live website looks like so guys as you can see this is the live website and now let's just go back to the dashboard and click on all-in-one WP and then click on import so guys here you can import your files all you have to do just drag and drop the file that we just exported from localhost website let's just drag and drop like that so it may take a few minutes to import the website depending on your internet speed so I'm gonna speed this up I will come back once it's done alright guys now we need to click on proceed so guys as you can see this message says your data has been imported successfully now let's just close this and let's just check this website refresh the page 
so guys as you can see this is very simple process to migrate your local website to live server so guys in the free version of this plugin you get some limited features uh, like you can't upload more than 512 megabyte files but if you click on get unlimited it will take you to this uh, extension page so this is the extension you can use this extension to remove your file limitation and uh, you can buy this extension if you like to support the developer otherwise you can uh, use the free version of the plugin but if you go to the products you can see all of these cloud for example if I go to the Google Drive extension that unlimited extension included with this Google Drive extension uh, if you like to buy any of these uh, cloud or any of these extension uh, I think the clouds most of the clouds have this extension included with it like you can see in the Google Drive extension all right that's the pretty much it all right guys that's the end of this video guys I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did enjoy this video you can leave a like if you want to see more video just like this one you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so with that whenever I upload a new video in this channel you will get notified so that being said, goodbye and see you again.